Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Um, all right, I just wanted to talk about something. You know, this is a hip hop video, and I wanted to talk about something that's real important when it comes to, you know, us in particularly the black community. You know, about how we perceive and look at certain artists and how we see them as artists, how we see them as regular people. So that's what I really wanted to talk about because I feel like it's important that I, I, I have to say this because at the end of the day, sometimes when people own record labels, you know, other rappers, that's like what you would call popular rappers that sell a lot of records and they start record labels and they sign artists. You wonder, do they sign artists because they want them to flourish and, and, and bubble under their toolages and, and, you know, basically, you know, basically become a star such as the hip hop star or R&B star that signed them. And then on the flip side, you have to look as if they're signing them because they are a threat so they can suppress them, shelf them, see them as competition. You know, because sometimes a person, when they say they, they looking out for you, they really rooting against you. And I came to the realization that that's exactly what Jay-Z has did when it comes to Jay Electronica. I think he has suppressed him. I think he has held him back. Because it just have to be said. Now, Jay Electronica last week dropped his album basically being on a hiatus. He dropped some mixtapes. He made cameo appearances and made, you, you know, cameo appearances on songs and all that stuff, did verse for people every once in a while. And he did mixtapes. But he never really put out an official album. And last week he dropped his first debut album called A Written Testimony. Now, I did a review of the album on my other channel where I talked about the album itself but now I'm about to talk about the person that has something to do with the album coming out or had a lot to do with why this dude took so long to actually come with a debut album I listened to a written testimony by Jay Electronica and I have to say I listened to the album and I don't want to ever hear that album again that album is god awful and when I say it's God awful, it's God awful, it's, it's, it's terrible. And you would think for a guy that everybody waited for over 10 years to hear him come with an album, this is what he put out? And he signed the Rock Nation. You would think Jay-Z would go out of his way to make sure that a dude who basically releases his debut album I think at age 42, 43 at least in his 40s he would give us a monumental historic album I'm talking about you would think a dude would go, go guns blazing he would try to get this dude the best production he could even if he took a loss at the end of the day Jay-Z is a billionaire even if he took a loss on this album you would think he would say you know what I'm going to put millions of dollars into this project. I'm going to get you the best producers that I can get. And we're going to give you a monumental classic album. But no. Jay-Z let this dude put out this type of shit. And you know the funny thing is, for years when Jay Electronic would, would do interviews, and people would say, hey man, when is your album coming out? And he would say, hey, well, you know, 
Jay Z say I don't got got something I could put out for a single. Well, what did he have on this on this album that you could put out for a single? And then the song to Jay Z is on. Jay Z don't sound that good neither. And I'll tell you, Jay Z is, is is a secret hater. And like I said, I know you Jay Z fans don't want to hear it, but I'm gonna tell the truth about this man. I don't trust Jay-Z whatsoever, and Jay-Z just further proves what a lot of people say about him in the industry, that he is snake. He is snake, and he can't be trusted. It is no way in hell that if I had a special talent like Jay Electronica, I would even remote him, remotely let him put out some garbage like that. That album sound like it got recorded in 40 days. Because he said he recorded the album in 40 days. It sounded like it got got recorded in like 40 days. It actually sounded like it got recorded in like two weeks. I mean, the lyrics, the wordplay on it is great. But that music is just terrible. And I'm going to tell you once again, please don't come with that, that bullshit line. Oh man, it's just too deep for you and it's just... It just went over your head. You need to understand. It's deeper than beats, man. Please save that bullshit. Shut the fuck up. It ain't deeper than beats. It's just like it ain't got no good beats. And you know, it's people that worship Jay Z because Jay Z got a lot of money, but I don't see Jay Z in that light. I don't see him. I I don't see him as a god. I don't see, and I I just think Jay Z ain't a good person. And I know people going the Jay Z defenders gonna say, well, he does that and and he does this. That still don't take away from the fact that he do other bullshit. Jay Z don't have the best reputation with other rap artists and people. He don't. He don't, and this is just fact. I, I'm serious. How could he let Jay Electronica put out something so horrible? And people got to tell the truth. Please do not sit up here and insult my intelligence and try to tell me that that album is good. Do not sit up here and insult my intelligence, my hip hop intelligence, and try to tell me that that album is good. Because it's so funny that you have certain people that love to talk about other people and call certain white people devils and all that type of shit. Well, you know what? They got black devils too. They got black dudes that's devils. Because like I said, a lot of times the people that try to suppress us and hurt us look just like us. And I'm going to say it. I think Jay-Z is a black devil. This is a man that's a billionaire, but yet he want to work alongside and kumbaya with Roger Goodell and the NFL. This league that purposely don't value the safety of their players. That don't give a damn about their players. Where every 10 years they give their players a horrible deal that's always owner friendly. As far as, you know, D Deshaun Watson or whatever the dude's name is, who and these players that say they ain't obligated to talk about black issues, of course, you, of course not, you ain't obligated. But at the same time, it just proves that you about yourself and you a selfish motherfucker because at the end of the day, we always judged as a group. I mean, if you want, you, you know, if you want to pass the coon, that's fine. A lot of people going to give you a pass the coon. Black people been not sticking together. And that's why we in the predicament that we, we are now. Because we sit up here and we defend everybody else. We want to ride for everybody else. We want to fight each other over everybody else. So that's just fact. But like I said... I'm going hard on Jay-Z because it need to be said. 
Ain't he the CEO of Rock Nation? Ain't that his label? Ain't Jay Electronica his artist? So what? I'm not no Jay-Z fan. Because I see what type of dude Jay-Z is. I've been seeing what type of dude he is. So like I said, of course people will, yeah. Oh yeah, we'll, I'll help a, another artist that ain't cool stay in the States. Like that clown 21 Savage, one of the biggest clowns in, in hip hop. One of the fakest motherfuckers I ever seen in my life. So what do you got to do with a, a, a lawyer to help him stay in the States? Okay, that's cool that you trying to sue these prisons on behalf of these black people. Yep. To save face. To try to clean up your reputation. Keep in mind, some people don't do shit because it's out of the kindness of their heart. They do it because they, they worried about their reputation. And their reputation leads to their bottom line, which is their bottom dollar, which is their money. They try to save people to save they save their bank accounts. And I'm sorry, I don't think Jay-Z got a good heart. I don't think he's a good person. Okay. Everybody remotely that was signed to uh, Rockefeller, for the most part, they couldn't flourish. They all they would care about is care about is putting out the Jay Z and promoting the Jay Z albums. Benny Siegel, who I think was just as good as Jay Z, every time he put out an album, he it was lack of promotion. So I, I just want y'all to be reminded of that. And that's why I laugh when I see these people talking about Eminem and defending Eminem. Eminem signed a whole bunch of rappers. And with the exception of 50 Cent, who was signed also to Aftermath, he liked the only one that really came up under under being signed to, to um being signed to Shady Records. Obi twice didn't sell no units. And none of the other people that was signed to Shady Shady Records was was selling records. So one out of what, how many people? Four, five, six, Eminem had to sign the Shady Records. This is fact. And Eminem the same way. He ain't shit. He ain't nothing but a white devil. And 50 Cent, he ain't shit neither. This is a man, oh yeah, he'll make documentaries about people. He'll make him, he'll, he'll even put on TV shows. But at the end of the day, it's about 50 cents pockets. Keep in mind, a lot of times people don't do shit out of the kindness of their heart. They do it for, you know, basically enhancing their bank accounts. They ain't doing it for love. They doing it for self-promotion. But like I said, I gotta, I'm gotta. i putting this on Jay-Z. I mean, all this time, Jay-Z been telling telling Jay Electronica to go back to the studio, but he let, he, he let him put this out? And I got the receipts where Jay Electronica was saying that Jay-Z didn't like the stuff that he was putting out or that he didn't have a single. Well, what like I said, what, what single he could put out from this album? I'm not worried about you Jay-Z apologists getting mad. Fuck y'all. Because it got to be it gotta be said. Jay-Z is a black devil. He really is. He really is, man. Just got to be told, man. I know, I know some of y'all don't like hearing this, and I know it's breaking y'all hard because some of y'all worship the ground. Jay-Z Jay -Z, uh, walk on, but not me. I always saw Jay-Z... Is not being cool. I just saw certain mannerisms he had, his demeanor about certain things, and you could just tell when, yeah, I don't think dude is cool. Like I said, that's one dude, if I seen Jay-Z and I had a chance, if they said Jay-Z want to meet with you or he want to talk to you, I'd be like, not interested. I wouldn't even shake Jay-Z's hand if I seen him because I know what type of dude he is. So this fall on him, he just showed what a hypocrite he was. All this time he'd been holding back this man, said he didn't have 
nothing that he could put out for a single because he wanted a hit record. So he expected this trash to be to be a classic, a hit. Once again, Jay Electronica is in his 40s. Something should already be wrong with that. Were you releasing your first actual debut album in your 40s? Enough said. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.